Hi, my name is Brenna Groeschel. I'm a sophomore from Waverly High School. And this is Anxious Winds. I never understood why my grandparents called me their little tornado until my panic attacks started again. They told me I am the product of a meth-abusing mother more concerned about getting her next fix than the children she birthed and a father whose brain cells are lessened by nights, spent with the bottom of the bottle in a lighter as his only friends, his life revolving like an orbiting planet wondering when his next beer would come and how many cigarettes were left in his carton. I, in the whirlwind created when their two paths crossed and uncrossed just as quickly as she snatched the bedsheet in her hand, reserving what pride she had left. His warm embrace was not enough to make her want to stay the night. I am the one night stand in which they were too drunk to remember. My grandparents told me before every storm there is a lull, a moment of dead silence. And sometimes a silence was broken by the dogs barking or the birds chirping nature's way of making you think everything is OK. Before every panic attack, my day is raining or drizzling at best. My anger keeps building and building, a building preparing to topple. The winds start to turn when I begin to pick fights, telling my sister I don't love her because our blood is only half shared, telling my grandmother that she isn't my mother because signatures don't make you a parent. My brain begins to lose control. Every move I make gets lost between the sirens and the wind, but I am the sirens and the wind most nights. My anger is dry, composed, as if my brain has rehearsed and prepared for this moment. I am an unstable twister. Just like the ones you see on TV, I am skipping every few miles. The winds have not yet spun enough. I am not yet angry enough, but any angrier in my heart might explode. The house is collapsing, the buildings toppling, the trees falling at my feet. I can hear a voice calling softly in the background, a warning call, but it's too late. My mother cries like the roof of her lungs is caving in, tears cascading down her prematurely wrinkled face. Her tears are the rain. And slowly, ever so slowly, I begin to calm when I feel my feet on safe ground. My grandparents call me their little tornado. So I try to exchange the wind for being the sun in an endless sky that rebuilds a broken family. My, father, my mother has gone to rehab to fix herself, to reclaim her children as hers. My father has left a ghost in the night, aware that nothing he could do would rekindle their fire, but you can still hear the birds tripping softly in the distance.